Hi everybody, back again. I know it's been a while. Chris Chris back in the building. You feel me? <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't want to take too much of you guys' this time, so I'm gonna go straight into the video. As you see, the video is about how I passed my HESI exam with less than two weeks of studying. Typical Chris nature, I procrastinated. I'm human. I'm sorry. Whatever, okay? But guess what? I still passed, so that's all that matters. Um, when it comes to the HESI exam, there are several sections. Luckily for me, I didn't have to do the physics section. Thank God. Nor did I have to take the chemistry section. Thank God times two, okay? So the sections that I actually had to take were the reading comprehension section, the grammar section, a vocab vocabulary and knowledge section, biology, math, and anatomy and physiology. So those were the sections that I had to take in order to apply to the nursing program that I was um, trying to apply to. They didn't want me to take the chemistry and um, physics section. I believe those are two other parts of, those are two parts of the HESI exam, but I guess depending on the program you're in, they may want it, they may not want it. So I'm really gonna just focus on the sections that I had to do. So without further ado, let's just get started. So um, when it comes to the HESI exam, obviously how you study plays a huge part in how you pass any exam. But when it came to the HESI exam in particularly, I would say how you take it also played a huge part on how it went for you, honestly. I felt like it worked to my advantage the way I took the exam, but I wanna first off start off with how I studied for the exam. Like I said earlier, I had less than two weeks to really study for this exam and I can only blame myself. Um, there was a particular book that I used and I'm gonna post the book right now. Yeah, this HESI assessment book is what I used to really navigate my studying. Obviously, the sections are very broad. Biology, anatomy and physiology, reading, vocab, like, okay, like, you need a... I guess you need a blueprint on how you should study for an exam such as that. So I would say that this book definitely helped me narrow down my studying so I knew what exactly to study for. I never took bio. I took microbio, but I never took an actual bio course. I took anatomy and physiology, but that was like two years ago. So I'm not really thinking about that like day to day in my daily life. So, um, studying those two sections bio anatomy and physiology i started studying for first that's just me science is the type of subject for me that like i'm not constantly really thinking about that i need a refresher like i do <laughs> so depending on how your um brain really works i guess you can say i would say the first week and a half really just narrow down and crack down on the subjects that you feel might trouble you the most and to me that was anatomy, physiology, and biology. I'm not much of a math person. However, let me tell you, the HESI exam, the math section of the HESI exam is simple math. Simple math. I think when I took the HESI exam, I probably scored like a 92 in the math section alone. Mind you, I hate math. Anyone that knows me knows that me and math are like oil and, wa oil and water. We do not mix. I don't like math. Nah. Uh-uh. I don't like math. However, the HESI exam, if you can add, if you can subtract, multiplying fractions, dividing fractions, adding, there might be like a couple questions on like metric conversions and stuff like that, but that would probably be the hardest part. They give you a calculator that you can use, so it's not like you have to mentally do any of this math. You just really know, need to know how to do math. Simple math, like, I don't even know if I would call it high school math. I would say it's like basic, like <laughs> middle school math maybe. Like it's super basic. So easy. So when you approach the HESI exam, definitely start with the sections that you feel like, you know, would give you the most confusion or, yeah. <laughs> Study the parts that give you the most confusion. Like I said, the science parts for me were the ones that gave me the most confusion. So that's the one I started with. When it came to the science parts, that book, like I said, really, really helped me. It helped me navigate my mind on like what they would be you know, what they would be looking for in the actual exam. So I made note cards, I wrote down notes, but huh, note cards are my best friend. When I took anatomy and physiology, I feel like the main reason I did as well as I did is like I made a bunch of note cards. I probably went through like 
10 packs of note cards because I'm a note card queen. I feel like that's really what makes me really crack down and memorize this information and just know the information is by making note cards. So note cards are straight to the point. It gives you the information. You write what you want to know and you write the answer to what you want to know. Bada bing, bada boom, you're done. So note cards for me was basically the way I would set, was the number one way that I studied for the anatomy and physiology part of the HESI exam. I also um, took a lot of practice exams. There's a lot of practice, free practice exams that you can um, find online. I'll probably post the links of the ones that I personally used. And I would also make note cards based off of the questions I got on those practice exams that were not in the book. Even though the book is a good way to like give you a blueprint on how to study, there are for sure going to be questions that are not based on the book. And I know it's so freaking annoying, but like they know what the vibes is. Like they're not gonna put based off their questions off of that one book alone. So when I was taking these practice exams, I was definitely making note cards based off some of the questions I got wrong on the practice exams that were not in that actual book that I bought to study from. So definitely use that, use all the, use any of those resources. I wanna post the links of the practice exams that I actually used in order to study. Also, um, so yeah, for the, per for the first like week and a half, I probably studied like maybe a couple hours a day, five days a week, four to five days a week. I wasn't killing myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't, I just, I wasn't like, studying every single day, pulling all-nighters for the HESI exam. I preferably like to study at night, and that's just the type of person I am. That's just my personal preference, but you really should not really have to pull all-nighters to study for the HESI exam. I mean, to each its own. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do, but I would say that I don't really think it's necessary. Um, so the, I would say the time I actually started studying for the reading, vocab, and grammar section Probably the last like two days before the exam. I know that sounds bad, but I really was not pressed about that section. Like I felt like those questions and like for the reading comprehension, they'll probably give you like a long passage and then they'll ask you questions relating to that passage. So that to me just sounded like the SAT, which we all took when we were in high school. So I really was impressed about that section. I really was focused on the math section. But like I said, to each your own. There might be some people that be like, science is easy for me. Let me just focus on, you know, the reading section. But I was the opposite. So depending on like what you find easy, start studying with that. Start studying that for like the majority of the time and maybe like the last like three or four days before the exam, start looking over the material you feel like you already know. And that's exactly what I did. Pretty much it as to like how I study for the HESI exam. So now I wanna move on to, um, you know, how to take the HESI exam because that's also important. So when I took the HESI exam, they check you thoroughly. You're in a cubicle. They give you like headphones in case like you don't wanna like hear any extra sounds, but they check you thoroughly. So if you think you can cheat, best believe you can't. It's not worth it. Don't even try it. They tell you to lock all your stuff up in a locker. They check you like TSA style with like freaking metal detectors and the whole nine yards. Like I'm surprised they didn't even bring like the freaking sniffing dogs because yeah, they check you from head to toe. So that's that. Um, you get four hours to take the exam. Four hours seems like a lot of time, but um, you know. <laughs> you might not use the um, full four hours, but I would understand if someone had to use the full four hours. I probably used like three and a half hours, three hours, I don't really quite remember. But um, yeah, so when you take the exam, all the sections are just listed in your face. So you can choose which section you would like to start with first. This is what I'm gonna give you guys the real tea. So when it comes to taking the HESI exam, start off with the reading section. Definitely start off with the reading section first because I feel like even though that might not be the most difficult section, you know, it takes the longest because you're reading passages and then like based on those passages you have to answer questions sometimes you need to use context clues sometimes you need to go back to the passage reread this paragraph reread this sentence several times before you know what the answer to the question is so i would definitely reserve the sections that are the most time consuming to the beginning so i started off with the reading vocab grammar sections first specifically the reading first because that took 
the longest for me and unlike science i feel like science is very black or white like you either know the answer to a bio or anatomy and physiology question or you don't versus reading it's like am eh, i have to use context clues it could be this but it could also be this you know what i'm saying so that's why i felt like the reading comprehension section took the most time but i scored the highest on those sections and so when taking the hesse exam i would definitely recommend that whatever you feel the most confident in try to score as high as you can in the sections you feel as confident in just so that you have more wiggle room when you take the sections that you don't feel as confident in for instance um when i took the reading comprehension section i think i got like a 94 or so i got a really high grade on the reading vocab and math sections i got a really really high grade and the last two sections i took were the anatomy and physiology and the biology sections but the good thing about the HESI exam is after each section, they tell you your grade. So while I was taking it and taking each section one by one, I'll be recording my grade like in the corner. They give you like somewhere that you can actually write your, um, you can like take notes on or like use this like scratch paper basically. So I was like writing the grades of like each section I was taking as I was taking it. So then when I got to my, you know, sections that I felt like would give me the most trouble, such as the science sections, I gave myself like a grade. I started calculating my grade so far and I was like, hmm, okay. I can score minimum this on bio or minimum this on anatomy and physiology and still pass. So that's kind of what I did. So as I was taking it, I was recording the grades, recording, you know, what I got on each section so that I knew what I could minimally get on the next section no offense to you by the time you take the last two sections your brain is kind of beat like i was like mentally already kind of tired and huh, i'm just happy that i got the reading and stuff sections out of the way because i felt like that kind of used more mind process for me because you had to read these long ass passages sorry for the cursing whatever but um you had to read these long passages you had to answer these questions grammar some of the grammar questions don't get me wrong the grammar part was a little difficult too because you know the way we talk converse how the way we talk to each other is not always grammatically correct so you might think something's grammatically correct but rest assured it's not so those sections like just took a lot of mental whatever for me like it was mentally draining it took like a lot of my mental juices were drained by the time i got to anatomy physiology and bio section so at that point since i kind of knew like what i could minimally get and still pass with a b on the hesse i was kind of just like okay like let me just you know i already know what i can get i'm not like pressed about it too too much but um yeah mental juices were already drained by the time i got to that section but luckily like i said when it comes to science you either know it or you don't so really don't mean too much time i would say the bio and anatomy sections were the shortest so they took the quickest like i feel like i probably did the bio section in like less than 15 minutes i probably took the anatomy section in like less than like 25 minutes versus the reading and the other sections like it took me some time because there were more not only were there more questions on those sections they took a lot of mental capacity for me versus the science sections they were probably like no more than like 20 something questions and like i said you either know it or you don't at that point i kind of already knew what i needed to get on those sections and still pass so i wasn't really stressed about it too too much so whichever works for you i felt like that tactic for me worked the best so you just really got to know yourself you got to know how you work you got to know what you're strong in what you're weak in so that when you take that exam you know where to start you know where to put the most of your thinking juices on so that's that but honestly, yeah, I feel like the HESI exam was definitely um, easier than I expected. But I like to go into every situation expecting the worst, hope for the best. Don't go into the situation like saying, okay, she said it was easy, it's about to be a breeze. No, go into it as prepared as you can. Go into it, you know, expecting the worst and hoping for the best. Because you don't want to go into it and think it's going to be easy and then you get in there and you're out looking sad because you thought it was going to be an easy exam. By all, by all means, it's not an easy exam, but it's definitely passable. 
if you study the right way and I felt like these techniques that I used to study definitely helped me and the way I used um, the way I actually took the exam as well definitely helped me pass the exam so I'm hoping that some of these techniques work for you but leave your comments below if um, and let me know you know if you feel like these taxes have worked for you, if you took the HESI exam, what tactics you used, feel free to talk to me, guys. I feel like my subscribers don't really talk to me, but I'm also really bad at, like, posting, so, yeah. But I'm about to work on it. I'm definitely going to work on it, so thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. I ain't never been in love, but trying to grab it up, you got a soft butt. Hit the hole in one, I'm playing pop pop.